Judaism was born in the ancient biblical holy land, but does that mean that Jews today are indigenous to the region? Some believe proving that would give the state of Israel a much stronger legal claim to disputed territories. And joining us in the studio is Professor Nan Greer, who has dedicated her work to this very issue. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for joining us. All right, so what exactly does it mean to be indigenous to a country? Well, under the United Nations, to be indigenous to a country means first to declare oneself as indigenous, uh, that this is the homeland of your forefathers. Uh, secondly is to have a strong connection to the land and natural resources. Then to have a distinct culture, uh, social and economic forms, a distinct religion and also uh, language. And then lastly, the resolve to continue the culture. Interesting. All right. So some argue that Judaism is just a religion and not in ethnicity, uh, what is, is your response to that, especially when it comes to um, that indigenous claim to the state of Israel? I think that the state of Israel presents one of the world's uh, most outstanding examples of an indigenous nation that is the only sovereign indigenous nation in the world. Um, there's a, a, an amazing amount of evidence to prove this. How would the Jewish people benefit from being recognized as indigenous to Israel? But you know, I mean, what consequences would also exist if that were to happen? Well, for one, uh, it might be able to uh, deal with the narrative or false narrative of Jews not being indigenous in their own homelands. Uh, it might have also an effect on those populations that are not indigenous um, according to the international definition. Uh, so those uh, communities would uh, be involved in some level of conflict negotiation regarding lands, but it's not in a way uh, denying any rights to land ownership. Interesting. All right, well, have there been any efforts that have been made to solidify Israel um, becoming indigenous uh, or, or the Jewish? There's guess... been some discussion about signing the UN Declaration of Indigenous Rights, mm -hmm. um, but because it states um, that sovereignty is not something that indigenous people have, uh, they will have to sign it with reservation and possibly make a recommendation for amendments because sovereignty doesn't mean that you lose your indigenous status, that, that you've lost the connection with who your homeland is or where your homeland is and who your forefathers are. Interesting. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, Professor. Thank you very much for the opportunity.